So here, looking at the weather reports, we thought that it would be cloudy and rainy here and miserable the beginning of monsoon season. And well, of course, this is our first day here so far. And, but it looks like we've got a clear sky, nice warm weather, and little girls playing in the sand. Everything's working out just fine so far. But that may change as this monsoon season in Thailand. To go explore the beach. A lot, a lot of places went. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some of these places are closed. And that's too bad, then. Maybe that's a response. Oh, a little thing of a little bit closed. Bismillah. Here in Thailand, the, uh, one of the popular meats here is pork. However, we're, this part of Thailand is a very, very Muslim area, so uh, I wouldn't expect to find pork in any of the restaurants. However, this is a uh, also a beach side, and uh, hopefully. Uh, seafood friendly neighborhood. We're gonna do some looking for some ahantale or some nice seafood here. At least that's the uh, that's I hope. So the kids have been to the ocean before, but I think separately and maybe a long time ago, kind of a it's been a long time since, well, we've never been together to this place, so this is going to be nice. The long tail boats are here. Not as many as I've seen before in the videos, but you might be able to take a little, little tour. There's one right there. I've seen this tree in, Thai in Hawaii. I think it's called sea grape. So it's you got fruit the other time. I borrowed a mask from my wife and it has a special scent to it that I enjoy. We're gonna go down to the sand. On a grim note, this is where that famous um, famous tsunami came in and swept away a quarter million people. So let's be serious about this here, guys. My sister remarked, if you see the uh, ocean going out all the way out, don't follow it. This is here. Out on the beach. We're discovering the uh, science of beach combing. Finding unusual treasures and serious things as you walk along the beach. Of course, what's a five year old going to do on the beach? So here, looking at the weather reports, I'm taking off. Okay, 
deserting my family. I'm not deserting my family, I'm leaving the way. That's what I'm doing. I want to check out this end of the beach. Where it really goes. Ooh, Dolphin Restaurant. I don't think it's in operation now. We need some repairs. <laughs> She's got her own project to work on. Comes out this tree here. Uh, I can't tell what it is. Very cool flowers are everywhere now. Looks like some kind of magnolia, maybe? Yeah. Like some sort of barrier at the end of this. Walked along the uh, little ridge here. Between the, river, between the jungle and the sea. Look up this walkway. Also do of course. Something to see. Yaisa is a symbol of love and awaiting. She has been waiting for someone she loves who has left her to search for the ultimate truth. He promised that he will return to her when he ends it. She stands at the same point for him, waiting for him every day. What is the ultimate truth? Where is it? Is it extrinsic? Is it already here in our Mind, is it mercy, love, change, death, emptiness, or oneness? Hmm. And she's there by the sea forever waiting, waiting, waiting.